Hey, I'm Edward Pivos for M Live, and this is great. We're about to learn about a movie that's about to be shot in Flint, and we have the main actor here, Corin Nemec, and the director here, Brian Theron, and we're going to learn all about this. this. is great. It's called Half Dead Fred, and so I want to ask real quick. We got the director, like I said, Brian. Brian. And the writer. He's a writer. Director. Oh, and the writer. Yeah. Listen, not just the director, the writer. And the producer. And so <laughs> I think I think I want to know real quick, why Flint? It's I think it's fantastic. It's my hometown, by the way. Why Flint, though? Sure. So I've been coming to Flint doing murals uh, since 2017 with the uh, Flint Public Art Projects. And uh, one of the guys that runs that, which is his name is Joe Scapani, he has a three-story house, very uh, Victorian-ish, very... Uh, uh, good architecture, you know, very elegant, um, perfect place for a horror movie, you know, to take place. Um, he had written a book called Haunted Flint. He gave me the book. I started reading it. We started going back and forth. Um, it just spawned from there. And then I wrote a script, and uh, I know this guy from uh, making murals and making artwork stuff. And uh, I said, hey, you want to make a movie? And he said, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Right? Yeah, we've done some stuff together before. We've done some, some, some. Uh, we, we've shot some, some other smaller projects and did a little, the, the, the series, the web series as well together. Yep. And, uh, and, and we're just really close friends. That's you know, and, and there's nothing better than being able to work with people that you, not only have uh, uh, respect for, but that you get along with. You know. And when will you be starting shooting the movie? And will the movie take place inside and outside of the house? Will it be shot like solely in Flint? Everything pretty much. So I would. On location. Yeah, most of it is on location. His character is a medium detective, and yep. so he lives in L.A. So we start in L.A., and then all of a sudden a murder takes place in Flint, Michigan, and he has to come to Flint to solve the murder. But I would say about 90% of it is all shot in Flint because we're using all Flint real locations, graveyards, yep. houses, uh, bars, mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah. yeah, Flint has a little bit of everything. Great locations, and like you said, he found this great Gothic, Victorian, style house. Now you, by the way, uh, you might know Corin from Stargate SG-1 and one of my favorite shows as a youngster, Parker Lewis Can't Lose. So one. you've done comedy, science fiction, now you're going into horror. Do you have like kind of a well, favorite I've done, genre? I've done a good amount of horror as well. Uh, in fact, we got some other, another film I did over here, uh, Rotten Tail, was uh, based on a graphic novel oh, okay. where I play a, a half man, half rabbit. <laughs> who's insane? Uh, it's a horror comedy. Um, oh, cool. oh, cool! And uh, and then I, 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 you know, I was I played uh, Richard Speck, uh, the mass murderer from the '60s, and played Ted Bundy in another film and some other stuff. House of Bones and a few other horror. And then I did all those sci-fi creature features. You know, I've I've battled pretty much everything that that walks, crawls, and flies. Uh, I've I've gotten into some type of laser battle or uh, something with it. Wrestling match, <laughs> you name it. But uh, so, you know, it's, it, this genre, is, it's a great genre. It's a genre that, that people really enjoy. I think he did a bang up job on the script. Uh, and, uh, and that's really what, it, what where it starts. It starts with a good script uh, and builds from there. So, you know, I, I, I'm stoked. I think we're gonna have something really, you know, really marketable and entertaining on our hands at the end of the day. Well, it's gonna, I'm sure it's gonna fly by because like in a couple of years from now, I'm gonna be like at the premiere and I'm gonna be like, God, I remember just interviewing you guys Hopefully about it. Hopefully it'll be less than, <laughs> than, than, than a couple of years. Well, I work way faster <laughs> than that. I work way well, I was gonna ask you, how long uh, will the production approximately take? How long will you be shooting in Flint? And when is the anticipated release? Sure, uh, so I would say total three weeks-ish of the whole shoot, um, about 13, 14 days in Flint and about three days, four days in Los Angeles. And then our turnaround time depends on so many factors, yeah. but uh, I edit as well, so oh, wow. I think it'll be a lot faster. Um, my anticipation is probably early 2022, okay. so two years seems like a long time. I should be <laughs> have like two, three movies by that time. I've interviewed people that have done movies, and the post-production takes forever. It's so you never know. It. Yeah, that's just <laughs> it. Is you never, yeah, you never know. And it also the, the marketing side of it, and then the distribution and everything else. You could end up with a company that's like, oh, we want to just dis distribute it, but we don't want to put it out until next year because this reason, that reason, or the other reason. And you can, you know, I've had some films that haven't come out for four or five years. You know, uh, so which see, is, I wasn't is not that going to happen with this. <laughs> no I wasn't that, that far happen with this. No one but. I can tell you this, no matter what the distribution is, marketing, whoever picks it up, wherever it's going, this is the key. We're going to do a premiere in Flint, so people are going to yeah. be able to see it at some point here. And uh, the goal and the idea right now is the Capitol Theater, because uh, we do have connections to the Capitol Theater. So I believe we'll be at the Capitol Theater premiering this movie here first. 
So, you know. Yes, as, as it should be, as yeah, it should yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, I will definitely have to uh, get your contact, make sure I'm on that list for the red carpet yeah, premiere so we can cover it, because that sounds great. Absolutely, you will be. And so you can also check out uh, more, more information on Half Dead Fred. Uh, there's an Indiegogo for it. You just search Half Dead Fred. And also uh, the Facebook is probably the best place to go and, and go ahead and link up and everything. They're collecting emails to be able to you know, send out some, uh, some information later on down the road. Uh, and you'll get a lot of info on the, on the, uh, the Facebook site for sure. Yep. Last question I wanted to find out, uh, how much locals are you using or trying to use, you know, tons. obvious <laughs> yeah. tons? Yeah, so. we've already had two uh, in-face auditions here. Uh, we're doing more. Um, I would say, if I had to do an estimation, I would say about 70 to 80% are locals, acting-wise. Um, and then we hired a local crew, you know, for the grips and the lighting and stuff like that. We hired a local crew to print these shirts. Um, so we're bringing a lot of business here uh, rather than LA but some actors are from other places and some actors are living in different places right yeah. now like he's not even living in LA at the moment he's living no, in, I'm in Mississippi else. yeah and Gulf Coast yeah and we got a few other actors that are coming from different places but a lot of the actors are gonna be from here from Flint is it too late to audition are you pretty much set with the cast um, we are still looking for a couple roles and that's something that you can uh, email casting at a half dead Fred casting at gmail that's so say that again I want to make sure we get this right it's half dead Fred casting at gmail okay um, or like he said get on the Facebook that's another way because we update on the Facebook we said hey we're casting these positions oh, right that's the key like I don't want everybody just sending what you know, if I'm looking for an African American at 85 years old, that's what I'm looking for. Right. You know what I mean? So, and we do have specifics, but we are still casting. Um, but we're going to be wrapping that up very soon. All right. Very cool. Yeah, you heard it. Well, listen, we got a little scoop on Half Dead Fred. Going to be starting shooting very shortly here in Flint. This is fantastic. Listen, thank you guys so much for your Pleasure time. This is great. And uh, yeah, look, look for uh, Half Dead Fred. Go to Facebook, find it on there. That's a good start. Reporting for M Live, I'm Edward Pivos. Awesome.